It's not all sunshine and roses for South African workers or the unions that represent them. And that's despite a government which is sympathetic to the plight of workers. The workers' day is, is still very much uh, relevant um, because uh, we have a labour market that is fraught with a lot of uh, um, uh, inequalities. Um, we have a labour market that is also fraught with a lot of uh, conflicts. Uh, we have, um, you know, a um, uh, uh, stewed uh, labour market uh, which favours a certain race. In our history, it's probably very relevant. But how much relevance it's going to have in our future, I think, is very, very uh, problematic in a sense. Because we are uh, certainly a country that's had a high number of trade unions, for example, but the membership of trade unions is falling other than in the public sector. The country's stagnant economy isn't helping the union movement or workers. In 2017, May Day will have to talk about the misery, the poverty, the unemployment, the inequality, the corruption that is so endemic uh, in our country and around the world, so that workers may at some point uh, be emancipated from all of those uh, uh, ills in society. Big business is in an interesting position, and the JSE, which is seen as the bastion of capitalism, saw the Kasatu Trade Union Federation march on its offices on 1 May. There's been a lot of criticism about its ownership. The point to be made about all ownership is that we're in a program of transformation in this country. One should not suggest that a number like 23, which is 10% direct and 13% indirect through people's pension funds and the like, is a satisfactory position on transformation. Speaking to workers outside the JSC, the ANC's Gwede Mantashe reminded people that unions are closely tied to the ruling party. But it has been a difficult period for the ANC. When the alliance is united, it makes things happen. When the alliance is divided and fighting among itself, it destroys the gains it has made. This Workers' Day, May Day or Labor Day celebration comes at a time for South African workers and unions when they're at a really low ebb. And this may be the turning point to try and create that unity that Gwede Mantasha was talking about. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Santon, Johannesburg.